It's no secret that people like memes. I myself enjoy a good meme from time to time. And uh, I recently stumbled across Big Chungus and I was looking on Know Your Meme and it's literally just Fat Bugs Bunny. There's there's no reason for this. It's just, this is Big Chungus. So I've enjoyed this meme for <laughs> like two or three weeks. And uh, I was on Instagram the other day. I follow a lot of edgy meme pages. My Instagram's in the description and on the screen at top underscore frag. You should follow it. And I saw this video and it it got recommended to me this morning on YouTube, so I decided that I was gonna share this with you guys because I just, I think it's worthwhile. In, in the words of PewDiePie, <laughs> Chungus Review. I uh, got you a gift. I know it's a little bit early, but... Oh, it just came in. No, it just came you in. I, that, man. I figured I'd give it to you now. Okay, real quick, if I was given Big Chungus for the PlayStation 4, I would be ecstatic, okay? Before I show you how this kid reacts, I just want to say, like, I would enjoy a copy of Big Chungus for the PS4. I fucking, I got my PS4 right here. I'm ready for Big Chungus. Where, <laughs> bring me Big Chungus. I just broke everything. I actually didn't know this. Apparently, on the feet of the PS4, it's like X's and squares and, like, the controller buttons. That's, that's cool. That's a cool touch, Sony. Thanks. What's this? It's Big Chungus. What is Big Chungus? Do you like it? I don't even have a PS4. What is Big Chungus? Is this a joke? Yes, sir, it is. So today, I thought that I would make myself my very own copy of Big Chungus. I don't know why I want this, but I do. And I kind of want to go as far as to make a printout for the actual disc itself. So. I came prepared today. I have this old AOC disc from uh, my computer monitor, and uh, we're gonna be repurposing this today to create Big Chungus for the PS4. I also only have one game for the PS4, which is uh, Cowboy Simulator 2018. So I'm gonna have to uh, remove the sleeve from this game, and uh, let's get started. First things first, I have to be able to print this out, and I have this Canon printer, but it's kind of where I keep my hamster cage, so like, I don't, how is this gonna work? <laughs> Sorry, Penny. Sorry. Ugh. That's your new home now. Fun fact about this printer, um, it sucks. It's like hardwired into that desk, so I'm gonna have to get a little bit crafty here. After I spent a little bit of time messing around with my printer, making sure that it worked properly on my computer, I ran a test print of my current sub count just so I could make sure that everything was gonna print out okay. I didn't wanna get halfway through the project and find out that my printer was out of colored ink. That would've pissed me off. All right, so now that I know my printer is going to work, I was thinking I was going to have to tear it out of the wall and do all this shit with it. It actually just worked, so we're, we're good on that front. I have to take a blank piece of paper, turn it into this beautiful, beautiful title card for Big Chungus. So that's going to take some Photoshop work. The first thing that I had to do before I could make this game cover is I had to find the correct dimensions for the PlayStation 4 title card. The way I first started doing this was by looking at forums and somebody told me that 1500 by 500 was a perfect resolution to make this work. So I printed out two test papers. The first one that I printed out actually had a very similar fit except it was like a quarter inch too long. Because these were just my initial test prints, I mirrored the images and printed it out just to have something on the canvas to see if it would properly wrap around the PlayStation case. As I said, the first print almost fit perfectly except it was too long at the bottom. So the second print I resized and tried to get to fit all in one page, but that was just far too small. I didn't even cut it out. After three or four rounds of trial and error, I decided to take a more hands-on approach. And what I ended up doing was finding a Red Dead Redemption cover sample on Google, and I printed it out full size onto a piece of paper. However, it was slightly off even still. So I just decided to take the actual Red Dead Redemption card and put it together with the piece of paper and measure the difference and then just replicate that in Photoshop. So I'm sure some of you guys are sitting there scratching your head, wondering why I did this, because I'm sure there's some fancy other way that I could have gone about it, but this was the quickest way that I could think of, and honestly, it really isn't that inefficient. It probably took me five extra minutes. What I did was I opened an eight and a half by 11 inch canvas on Photoshop, and then I made it the same size on my screen as a real piece of paper would be in my hands, and then I taped it to my monitor 
taped the game cover over it, and then used the backlight from my computer to trace the outline of the real game cover to get an accurate dimension measurement. Once again, probably way more complicated than it needed to be, but it worked, so I ain't even worried about it. I'd say the hardest part so far was getting the tape off the sleeve without ripping it, but I think I did a pretty good job, so we're good. The next thing that I did was separate the three parts of the cover sleeve. That's the left side, the right side, and the spine in the middle. And then I printed out a black and white version as to not use up all my colored ink. I fit it into the case and it fit much better than the first draft. And I was happy enough to push forward into the Photoshop work. The Photoshop work that I did was more tedious than it was hard. Basically, I had most of the assets that I needed and the front of the case was already done. All I really had to do was focus on the back. So I grabbed a kill zone case sample, uh, which unfortunately had a watermark on it, but I removed that in a minute. And I just used the uh, the bottom tags from that game case because I thought it was slightly more than a standard back. I, you know, it has different shapes in it and I, I just thought it flowed better than the standard rectangular warning label area. So I swapped out some of the branding and changed the name in the uh, fine print to Big Chungus the Game because why not put a few little Easter eggs in here? There's actually quite a few uh, little nods towards things that I put in here. I'll have a high res screenshot in the description if you guys want to actually look at this back. But I added some pictures and decided to make it a choose your own adventure kind of game because that's just how it be sometimes, man. I, I pasted in the fitness gram pacer test and then adjusted some more of the panels added a title card in the back, and then did some final touching up. Now I wanted to use that little blank space in the bottom, so I decided to put the reviews there, and I honestly think that it was one of the better decisions that I've made in the whole back. Uh, I added a little bit of a gradient, added the PS4 logo to the spine, uh, a bigger logo, the Mojang logo, and that was it. Overall, this Photoshop job took me like two hours, I think, just because I was really deep in thought about what I wanted to do. And by this point, I was getting kind of burnt out with the project. It was still funny to me, but the amount of time that I had put into it was starting to get a little bit ridiculous. So I decided to do a quick job on the, uh, on the disc. So basically what you're seeing here is me first creating the template for the disc. And then I just take a picture of Big Chungus, put the title card on, the adults only rating, and then some other fine print stuff. On the final print of the disc itself, uh, everything that I put in fine print, including the angular border on the top, uh, is very barely legible it's, it's really really faded so i'm gonna have to make some adjustments to that if i decide to reprint this in the future but all in all the overall design doesn't look super bad unless you're really up close okay so this next part uses chemical glue so if uh if you guys have allergies or if you don't want to inhale glue you might want to put on a gas mask right now but let's okay, do so it i'm outside at the gluing station it's a little loud because i couldn't find my shotgun mic but i'm gonna try this i don't know if it's gonna work or not we're gonna find out but either way, the case was a major success. So even if this is pretty shitty, I'm not really bothered by it. I did have some issues with the gluing process and I think moving forward, if I'm gonna do this again, I need to just spray the disc that I'm using and not the piece of paper because when I finished it, it left a bunch of weird bumps and it, it just didn't look too good. But overall from a distance, it looks really, really nice. It's gonna be a big sticky mess, but let's do it. Ah, no, 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 I put it on crooked, no. Big chungus. Okay, so my entire room is absolutely trash from Big Chungus, but it, it was worth it. The game honestly came out better than I could have hoped it would. Um, the, the case itself is, is just beautiful. It's so nicely made and I'm so happy with it. The, the disc itself, if you get really up close to it, it has like bumps on it from dust. I'll probably end up reprinting this. Since the Red Dead case is a two disc case, I'm gonna make a bonus disc as well. Bonus disc. As well as the disc, it also comes with a map of Albania. I don't know why, that's just what was included in the case. So that's a thing. I guess that's gonna be it for this video. I know that this is not anything like what I normally upload, but it was something funny that I had the idea to do. So I figured I wanted to just send it and see what happened. The only way I'm gonna do a follow up to this is if this video like blows up. So let's say like 25,000 likes. Yeah, 25,000 likes. And I will record myself trying to return this game to GameStop and just seeing what happens. So that's. Probably not gonna happen, but I'm not worried about it because I don't want to do that anyway. <laughs> we out here, we got Big Chungus for the PS4 now. I can play this with all my friends on New Year's. I'm excited about it. I hope you guys are too. I hope you had a good time watching this video. And thank you for spending a few minutes of your day with me. It really does mean a lot. I'm gonna go eat some mac and cheese. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.